let's get this information out. I don't, I, I, I think this, I, the Congress said something about activist judges a while ago, and the way he got in there, the judges, you know, there were judges in there to stop him if there were a problem. It, 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 I, I'd hate to put a, our, yeah, our dependence well, on that any more than the senator, but. Yeah. Uh, just one of the things that you mentioned, uh, which I did raise in my speech, and I'm going to give to Elizabeth when she's ready to present it as a tension. I think the dangerous thing about political tension is times of crisis. And we have a very bad history in this country of times of crisis of detaining people who did nothing wrong, who never charged with anything, and never convicted. And in my speech, I talked about Japanese Canadians, Ukrainian Canadians, and more than a thousand people who were arrested in Quebec during the war measures at that time, none of whom were ever charged, let alone convicted, with any offense. And when, when you say, well, you know, times of crisis, things just happen, people lost their jobs, some people lost their houses because they lost their jobs. It had very serious impacts. Uh, even in the 1970s, when you go back to Ukrainian Canadians and Japanese Canadians, we lost everything as a result of these illegal detentions. So if we come to a period of crisis and this lower standard for detention remains on the books, I'm very concerned about it. I want to be true to my word. It's coming up to a few minutes before 8.30. I'm going to, if I may, just take two more questions and then invite the people who are here to do one-on-one -on -one conversations with the panelists, if that's okay. Two more, thank you. My question is um, fairly straightforward. Is that fine? Yeah. Um, thank you very much for holding this panel tonight. It's very informative, and I think through getting all this information, unfortunately, I'm not exactly excited about this. Um, I'm more fearful. And so the question is simple, but it might be difficult to answer. What can we do? Thank you very much for standing against this, um, but we know that you're on our side. So what can we do beyond that? I'll start, and then invite others to step up. I want to say what I'll say at the end. I'll say right now. I want to thank you because your being here, just bearing witness, your curiosity, your concern as Canadians is really inspirational. And I don't take that back. I know Randall will take it back. We're going to continue to fight even harder now that we know the level of concern in our community. We represent you, we hear from you, we've heard, un this is a, a, I guess we put two or three issues since I got elected and galvanized this community, this is one. So you have to know that that's the first thing. You know, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be speaking up as strongly as we can. Write us letters, send us emails, ask questions we can use. Give us personal illustrations, give us examples that you have been prompted by tonight's discussion to, to perhaps give to us and we'll take it back and we'll throw them right back in the, in, in the gov at the government because this is too important. I'm gonna invite others to do so as well. Laura? Thank you, great question. Um, and I think there are a number of things that we can do. One uh, has already been mentioned, which is write letters. Write letters to your own MP, write letters to Justin Trudeau. Why are you supporting this bill? Write letters to Stephen Harper. Honestly, the more we get out there. Also, talk to your friends about this. We've got a lot of people in here. If everyone talks to their communities, then we can get the word out about the problematic aspects of this bill and that it actually needs to be stopped. Um, another thing is, you know, I, you know I, I almost hesitate to encourage this because I do know the risks under this bill of um, participating in collective action, uh, speaking out, but I want to encourage people to do that anyway and to take those risks, to continue um, to kind of fight for social justice, to continue to speak out against oppression. Um, social movements are an integral part of our democracy, an integral part of holding our government to account. So please continue to do that. So, and the most 
interesting for me to hear in Victoria our actors and our friends mm -hmm. like that to address this. And so my question is, who, what if if this bill does come into effect, what is pragmatically possible in modifying it to make it less severe as what it is in current shape? Yeah. And the second is, what do you ask from the Muslim community in Victoria and even Canada, how we can help?